and okay. Hi guys. What's up, people? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jess Lane. This I'm Luke is, Mullen. There you go. This is Luke. He is gonna be helping us today. We are going to be solving one and two step inequalities. Okay. So Thank first goodness. of all, I'm gonna take you through a review of inequalities um, on how to graph. So a greater than sign or a less than sign has an open circle, and then a greater than or equal to, less than or equal to has a closed circle. So here you go. So, I already messed um, up. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, keep that eraser. All right. So um, what I mean by this is, let's say I have a inequality, x is less than three. So if I have x is less than three, you see this sign, it doesn't have a line underneath, so we're gonna do an open circle on three. So you would do one, two, three, open circle on three. If it's a less than sign, we shade to the left. If it's a greater than sign, we shade to the right. So this is a less than sign, so you're gonna shade to the left. And that open is, circle is just like, because, because you it, can't have, yeah. you can't actually have the value of three. Yeah, you can't, very good, Luke. Like, you can't actually <laughs> have something the value. Right. <laughs> you can't actually have the value of three. So that's a review of graphing. So open circle for greater than, less than, closed circle for greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, shade to the left for less than, shade to the right for greater than. So quick review. So now we're going to solve inequalities. Yeah. And Luke, I'm gonna take you through a couple and Luke will take you through a couple as well, okay? So with inequalities, you solve just like an equation except for one little, um, one little rule. And that rule is if you multiply or divide by a negative to solve, what happens to the sign? You gotta swap it. Yeah, you gotta swap it. You gotta flip it, right? Flip it. You gotta flip it. Swap it, same thing, right? <laughs> um, you gotta flip the sign. So for example, if I have negative 2x is greater than 10, so to solve this just like an equation, I'm gonna divide both sides by negative 2. So negative 2, and we are going to flip that sign. x is less than negative 5. Because we have to flip it, because you see we multiplied or, or we actually divided by a negative. But if you multiply by a negative, you flip the sign of two. But it's only if you do it when you're solving, okay? If 10 was a negative, you wouldn't have to flip the sign. But since we used a negative to solve, then we flip the sign. Okay. I, have a, I have a little jingle. What? Uh, okay, so you go. Oh, he's gonna teach you something. Okay. What is it? So, negative inequality, multiply, divide, flip the sign. Did you just make that up? Yep. <laughs> That's pretty good. There you go. <laughs> What's up? Right on the spot, he just made that up. That is cool. And you don't even have to rhyme it. It's just like, you'll just remember it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully everybody <laughs> remembers that. <laughs> so I can't even remember it after I just said it. <laughs> Play back the video, you know. you'll remember it. Multiple. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were like... I was negative. trying to find something that rhymed, <laughs> and I'm like, nothing rhymes with multiplication. Yeah, okay. So here we go. Here's a problem. R minus 9 is greater than or equal to 12. So we want to isolate that R. So we're going to do the inverse operation of a subtraction. So we're going to add 9 to both sides. So again, add 9 to both sides. If you want to go more into detail on how to solve equations, um, go watch the video of how to solve equations, because you really do the exact same thing for inequalities, except for that one little extra step. So R is greater than or equal to 21, right? That's yeah. right. So R is greater than or equal to 21, okay? So let's talk about graphing this. We're going to close circle or open circle? Close. Close circle, close circle. Because you can on, use that yeah. 16 as a <laughs> That's a 21. Uh, <laughs> it, it looks like, it actually looks like a 16 on the screen. <laughs> yeah, 21. It's reversed for us. I'm the perfect person to do this video. <laughs> is, that, is that a 12 over <laughs> Um, And so it's going to be, R is greater than 21, so it's going to be shaded to the right. So like, I'm just going to draw a number line and write the number 21. I'm not going to like do all the little dashes. So close circle, shaded to the right. And it means it goes on forever, okay? So that's how you do that one. Very cool. Okay. So if it was a, uh, say you had to divide that, if it wasn't, if it was a positive number, the sign wouldn't swap. Yeah, no. You only when you divide or multiply by a negative. Negative. As play you can, back yeah, with play the back <laughs> Okay, um, okay. Let's do one more like that. Um, 
Okay, do this one for us, Luke. All right. Negative 3y is greater than or equal to 15. Greater than or equal so to So he's going to do this one. 15. All right, first step, people. You got to divide by the negative 3. And actually, that's the only step. <laughs> yeah, it's a one step. So you got to divide by negative 3 to get it, get that y by itself. You got to isolate the y. But then it's a negative number that you're dividing by. <laughs> so what happens to the sign? It swaps! Bam! It swaps. And now 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5. Very good. Can Luke, can you take us through the graphing? Graphing. All right, people. So since it is a uh, greater than or equal to, or yeah. greater than or equal less to. Than. Less than. Sorry. Is it? Le is it less than? I yeah, that's a less than. <laughs> okay. If it's a less than or equal to, you, you got to... You gotta do the shady thing. It's a shady, shady sign. Then. What? Then you gotta do the. This, okay, this is not turning out well. <laughs> but anyway, you do like the less he makes than. makes a little tick marks. Less than goes to the left. Very good, yeah. Less equals left. That, right? That is great. You can remember less left. And you're good. You're doing all the little tick marks. I yeah. don't do it. I, I just. I don't do really that. know what I drew. I was trying to, I don't know what, I don't know. That's right, I'm, though. It's, it's right. It's right, but yeah. it was weird. So, oh, close circle at negative five, shaded to the left. Okay. Okay, we're going to get a little harder. I'm going to take you through, through one, and then Luke will take you through one again. These words are so satisfying to race with. <laughs> I love it. They are. Okay. So, in this case... We have negative 4 minus 2r is less than, we have to look at it because it's opposite there, is less than um, negative 6. So what you're going to do first is we want to get rid of this 4, or we want to put it on the other side because we're trying to isolate the variable. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. We're going to stop this video. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do a, another example. So... Negative 4 minus 2r is less than negative 6. So I'm going to take you through this example. We need to get rid of this negative 4 first because remember we're isolating the r. So we're going to do the inverse operation. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. Got to isolate that variable. Isolate the variable. Isolate the variable. And so then we get negative 2r is less than negative 2 because negative... Um, Negative two plus negative six plus four is negative two. It's hard to read. Um, I know I can't, I can't read all the facts. <laughs> I know. And so what we're going to do now is we need to isolate this variable again. So we're going to divide both sides by negative two. And again, if you need a refresher on how to solve equations, go and watch that video. I'm kind of going fast on how to solve equations here, um, inequalities, but you can watch the video for a refresher. So. We divided by a negative 2. I already finished. <laughs> I know. So I have to flip the sign, and negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. So we have r is greater than 1. So remember, we had to flip the sign. That's the only thing that's different. Flip the sign. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. Only okay. it's a negative. That's why you flip the sign, right? Yeah. And if we're going to graph, that means that it's an open circle at 1, and we're shaded to the right because it's greater than. All right? Open circle at one, shaded to the right, because it's greater than. Okay, Luke, you're going to take us through our Ooh. last problem. Oh, right, here. oh, no, no, you can. No, I have two. Oh, okay, I'm like, God, did she steal my... Is it? Why are you guys two. watching this? She's a I have thief. two, I know. Okay, so negative three minus two n is greater than or equal to one. So take them through the steps in doing this problem. Is it, It's greater than? Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. No, no, greater it's Greater than okay. or equal to one. I did it really fast. And All right. Really oh, yeah, I actually learned. Just draw the line down. Yeah. Mark your steps. All right, first you got to isolate that variable. You got that variable on the left side or whatever side and the numbers on the left, other side, yeah. whatever. For this case, it's the left side. So then you add three to both sides because you have to get... 2n on this side, then you're stuck with, or left with, negative 2n is greater than or equal to 4, because 3 plus 1 is 4. And then, you got to isolate that variable, but it's not catching on, but then you got to go divide it, both sides, by negative 2, divide that by negative 2 over there, you got n, you got to, what do you got to do, Jess, what do you got to do when oh, it's divided by... Oh, the sign. 
with my catchy tune. Oh, um, in negative inequality. Flip the sign. When did that end? I, you know, <laughs> it's about right. Yeah. It's about all right. You gotta flip it, and then that turns to n is less than or equal to negative two. two. Awesome. Now graphing. Uh, graphing, yes. Graphing. I'm gonna do it how you do it. So if it's less than, and it goes to the left, the left is less. So you got negative two right here, and because it's equal to, it's a, a closed circle. You gotta go to the left. Very good, Lou. Woo! I got my first problem okay. right. <laughs> Awesome. I'm also going to teach you something really quickly. If the variable is not on the left side, um, I think I might have, did I already see this? I did this. The variable is on. Like if it's the variable is not on the left side and I want to rewrite it, then I can switch the order. But if I do that, then I have to flip the sign too. So you want to have the variable on the left side when you do inequalities because it makes it easier to graph because then a greater than sign goes right and a less than sign goes left. But that only works if the variable is on the left side. So if you f if it's on the right, you flip the order, so you flip the sign too. Okay? I don't think you ever did that. I didn't. I might have done it in another video, but Who this knows? video we're gonna do. Okay. Well, thank you for participating. This is Luke again. So I'm Jess Lane. Catch y'all on the flip oh, side. <laughs> Thanks. Oh,